How's it going everybody out there in the uh, music and uh, vinyl community? This is Mike uh, or Soldier 777 coming at you there. Uh, I'm in my bedroom here sitting at my desk here and I figure I'll show you uh, the letter B in my music collection. This sounds like Sesame Street. Anyway, letter B in my music collection of the bands that I have uh, in my collection. And I'm going to start off with the band Baron Cross. And give me one second. And the band Baron Cross is no stranger to you all. Uh, you've shown their videos before uh, in your own, uh, in the past, on, on your own uh, videos. And uh, I'll get right to it. What I have here is, is a CD, Rock for the King, uh, which was put out back in... What was this reissue? I think it was reissued by the band themselves, Rock for the King. And it's a digit, digit pack uh, that you see here, which kind of replicates the, uh, uh, the album uh, or the record. Uh, that was available back in uh, when it was released back in 1986. So, what you have here is Atomic Arena, and a lot of you show to see your vinyl of this, and this is the rest of the records version of it that I have here. What you have here is State of Control, which is my favorite Baron Cross album. I think it's this is probably the um, probably my favorite album or one of my favorite albums. Sorry from. 1986. Now, I don't know if you can see from, from the uh, video here, but uh, I ordered this from someone and it came with a slightly blue uh, colored jewel case. This kind of matches the uh, blue of the album cover. So that was pretty cool. And I love the art artwork for this. It uh, shows a young girl looking out the window. And uh, I guess the um, sort of a take on the uh, title track, See the Control, was about uh, alcohol abuse. Kind of cool. There's a the back of it here. And this is also the uh, Restless Records version of this as well. So, and and also too, I figured I'd let you know that um, the eleventh track on this is called "Your Love Gives," uh, which is a ballad. But the actual song that plays as eleventh track is "Escape in Escape in the Night" or "Escape of the Night," uh, which is sort of a power metal or metal song. So uh, it's kind of weird. Got a track listing of of uh, "Your Love Gives," but "Escape the Night" is the actual song that appears on the CD. So. Anyway, next one I have from Baron Cross is Hotter Than Hell, which is put out by Medusa Records. I think Medusa is a, is a subdivision of Enigma Records. And uh, here's a CD that I have here inside. So it's a great live album from Baron Cross, which is, I think they're supporting their um, Atomic Arena tour. This came in 19, 1990. Also, this is a Rattle Your Cage uh, album from Baron Cross, came in, in two, 1994. And uh, I think it's autographed by Jim LeVer. I think if you record, I can't recognize the signature. I think it's the Jim LeVer. I see the word Jim there, but I can't make it the rest of the uh, writing there. So, but uh, his order, I ordered his used from Brent Miller's uh, uh, web, uh, website there. So, yeah. Also, I got the uh, the last one I got from Baron Cross coming in 2014 is the Burke Pains live album. Uh, they did a tour, or no, uh, sorry, did, there was a festival. Back in 2014, with all the Christian hard rock metal bands, and this is the uh, concert they did for. Now, it also comes with a two or three CD digit pack, uh, which you see here. And two CDs, and of course, comes with, comes with a booklet uh, inside here. So, one second, I'll pull it. Comes with a booklet there with all the uh, pictures and that kind of thing. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the only thing about this CD is that when they did actually did it. Uh, the production is not the best. So it's kind of a very raw sounding concert. Uh, but like I said, it's a kind of neat package overall. So the next band I'm going to show is uh, the band Bloodgood. Now, I'll show bring up here. So, so what I have here, I showed this before in the video, is uh, their self-titled uh, album, uh, Bloodgood self-titled, which came in 1986. Now. I ordered a, from a guy in California uh, the rare uh, to this version because this was put out in back in 2010 under Tense uh, Records, Intense Money Records. Sorry, I think Rocks Records at the time did a uh, uh, Bill Bafford, not Rocks, but Bill Bafford did a run, was a short lived and called the label Intense uh, Money Records, and uh, this is one of many albums put out. Now, only a hundred of them came with additional uh, a disc, which shows the a bonus live disc. It's a live album. Now, 
Also, too, you might notice that when a regular CD is, is pressed, it comes with a silver backing. This one here had a, a blue backing, as you can tell here. And I wanted it was a bootleg, so I emailed Bill Baffert. He told me that where only 100 of these were pressed with a second disc. It was uh, done on CDR, which was a blue, which was a, which was a blue, uh, uh, a blue uh, background to a blue place uh, to to the second disc. So basically, on the inside you got the original artwork, and the outside you got the revamped artwork. Here, here. Just one second, I got to put on the glare here. That's better. Uh, that you see here. So, and uh, so is, is, what I got is very rare. Only hundred of these were pressed. Likewise with the second, uh, first one, the second one, Detonation, also done some way. It comes with a second disc as well, and uh, as well. And here is the uh, original artwork and uh, enhanced artwork, the revamped artwork that you have here. I do know that uh, the the first two albums are being redone under uh, the front of band Bloodgood. Uh, the, this album here, and the first one's being done, I think, from Retroactive, I believe. Uh, I may get these, but even if I do get these, I'm going to still keep these two because these are very rare CDs. So, there you go. And next one I have, of course, is, is Rockin' Hard Place. And as you may know, with the Rizzo pressing, Rizzo pressing came out in 1988. Um, the low end was sort of, uh, the way it was recorded, you couldn't hear low end like the bass and that of the CD. When they did this album, uh, which is the from Retroactive Records, which is a digit pack, doesn't have the insert, they did the... Um, I'm not sure if the bass was re-recorded -re or they or they re remastered so that you can hear the bass work or the bass lines uh, for the out songs. So this is one rock at a hard place. So this is probably the um, more commercial of the Blood Good albums. I know the first two and the fourth one was about to show is much more heavier, more more aggressive. But this is more of a, a commercial uh, album. Um, so the next one is called In Our Darkness. And uh, I have the re also has a reissue with, from Retroactive Records. It was a great album as well. We, and this version came out in 1989. Also had the original version of. Oh, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Also, I had the um, the original pressing of Alive in America, uh, which is a great live album. I love these two live albums. I also have the video for this as well. It's a great performance. Live in America, which I thought was fantastic. But oh, I got this a few years ago. Uh, this is original uh, Tense Records pressing, and it's Shaking the World, uh, which which is also a great uh, great live album. I'm really, get, I'm really glad I have these. These are awesome. So uh, we just recently came making them both sets in the video. So I also have the DVD to to the uh, th these cons as well. So I think it's really awesome. Also back around 2010, I think it is, or no 2000. Uh, there's a Blood Good, Two German with Love. This is a great, also a great live album. I know the original version came out in 1993, but uh, the re the revamped version um, was put in 2000 under M8 uh, Magdalene Records. So that was really cool. And the next one is, the, of course, uh, Danger Close. Another great Bloodgood album. And uh, came in 2013. This is the pressing I have. And of course, Oz Fox and Striper did some of the guitar work for this. So it's a great album. And I also want to mention the fact that uh, I think there's one more for, for the show. I do have the Metal Missionaries uh, uh, CD as well. I forgot to bring it to show to you, but uh, that I believe comes with five songs. So I showed that in the previous video, Metal Missionaries. Uh, originally came with cassette back in 85. A few years back, uh, Bloodwood, uh, the band Bloodwood themselves uh, did the uh, convert CD uh, their while back, a couple years back. I have that as well. Um, that was a few years ago. Um, I also want to mention the fact that the first Blood Good album was a bit teeny in its production. Uh, let me go get that again, one second. And I'm just thinking, the first album, uh, first song on this one called Except the Lamb, is sort of a, gr is, is a good song, but if that song had the same production as this one, and made it a bit raw, raw, I think it'd be a great song. Be, I think it would come out, come out as a more of a thrasher song, or more of a more aggressive song than than uh, uh, than as was produced for uh, the self-titled album. I just figured I'd throw that in there as well. So, one more band I'd like to show is, is a band, uh, The Brave, which is uh, they have three albums out, uh, which is which is the first one was on Packroom Records. So here's one called Battle Cries. And uh, here's the back of it here, and uh, of course here's the inside. 
So, and a little right up here, uh, uh, right up here from uh, John Dillon uh, John Delafonte. As you may know, um, back in early '92, remember, remember the, the uh, LA riots. Uh, back in '92, that's when this album was was, was being produced. Um, when they had that Rodney King instance, I'm not, I'm not sure if you all recall that, but uh, that was being recorded at the same time. A little bit right up, explaining all this information as well. So yeah, a bit of history there. Um, here's a Brave Call of Trust. This is more of a bluesier album than the first one. The first one more melodic commercial hard rock. This is more of a bluesier album. And this is one called Rise, which came out in 2014, I think it did. Uh, they had a female singer. Uh, I'm not too keen on this one. Uh, they re-recorded their, some of their tracks and added some new tracks to this one. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too keen on it. Uh, I got a female singer. Now, I'm not knocking a female singer. She can wail. She more or less got that uh, raspy, higher pitched voice like similar to um, the lead singer Ransom or Lee Aaron. Uh, Lita Ford got a powerful voice. But the quality is not uh, the best in terms of uh, the band did this themselves. And not, not the best quality. So I'm not totally impressed with this. So... Anyway, that's my um, that's my video I have with the letter B uh, collection video as whatnot. So what I'll do going f uh, next time in another uh, week or two, I'll probably show uh, the letter C and go forth from there. If I don't, uh, I may have that in my next video. Or for, or, um, actually, no, in my next video I got something else in mind to show you, which uh, I'm gonna be sh uh, showing that soon. So, uh, and then the one after that might be a collection video, video or an another topic. Depends on how things go. So you guys have a great day, and um, all the best, and God bless. Bye now.